If you ever wanted to shower with your iPhone, well, this is the case to get. So, let's check it out. The boring parts first, a two-piece design with a hard clear backplate, foam cushioning for the camera, and arguably the most important piece, the rubber ring gasket around the edges that keeps the water out, so don't lose this shit. A thick but soft rubber bumper around the front piece, consisting of similar foam padding around the edges for your precious iPhone, and a flexible clear screen protector to seal the deal. Now, first things first with any waterproof case, always test if that shit works without the iPhone in it first. So water, case, bam. 30 minutes on the clock. Wipe it off and check if anything leaked inside. If not, we're good to go. If it did, throw that shit away ASAP Rocky or just contact their support line. Up to you. To install, wipe the inside of the clear case from your grimy fingerprints, then place the iPhone face first into the top piece and snap the back in place. Run your fingers around the whole back several times to ensure it's shut tight. Taking a look around, the buttons are flush with the case which I don't mind since it's already so wide, but I am a fan of the textured finish and the tactile response. There's a dial switcher, similar to the one on the Apple Watch to control the mute toggle, my only issue being that I can't glance to check if my iPhone is muted or ready to go ham on the speakers. Around back, the camera lens is covered in a hard plastic and in my scientific lens tests, I didn't find any issues compared to not having it on. They also have what they dub an acoustic membrane around the flash to allow for better audio, which we'll test in a second. The lens is lifted off surfaces, so fret not. Along the bottom, the lightning port is sealed with a rubber plug. It's nice to see several layers of friction to hold it in place to prevent accidental unplugging while possibly 33 feet underwater. The cutout is fairly tight and deep, so long as your cable is sized like the official Apple ones, you're good to go. The microphone and speaker grills are beside that with the speaker having access outside the lightning port as well. A minor detail that only design freaks like me really appreciate is the flush edges between the plug and the back plate. To remove the case, you'll need to lift the plug to reveal a ledge, otherwise the whole case just looks smoother than melted butter. Moving to the front, the home button is covered in a flexible membrane which still allows for Touch ID and I haven't had to reprogram it and it hasn't misread my finger a single time. Finally, the whole screen is covered, yes, that means the front phone speaker and the front camera and sensors as well. Although I didn't have any issues with the front camera as you can see in my very sophisticated tests. The real issue that plagues most waterproof cases is the audio quality of speakers and microphones due to the foam being imprisoned in a watertight case. So first up, let's test the speakers. Ghost Tech is offering a fancy schmancy new leather card case along with their clear aluminum case to show off your sexy new Samsung S8. But which one is right Personally, the quality is still out. there. A little quieter, sure. A deal breaker, nah. In terms of the microphones, I did have a few issues on calls where I had to scream at my mom for her to hear me, although I that like may just be her butts, hearing. But for I most calls though, I didn't lie. have to go super saiyan on my phone. Like in this controlled voice recording test, the audio is definitely still usable, but noticeably quieter and slightly muffled. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. And our last test, a back camera to see if that acoustic membrane they brag about is just a gimmick or not. She sells she, she shells on the she shore. Slight muffle in the quality, but overall for the acoustic membrane, I'd say that shit really works. And the hand though, that's where this case really stands out for me. The soft rubber bumper combined with the flush edges makes holding this in one or two hands actually a pleasant experience. Add to that the clean and simple design all around that focuses on showing off your iPhone to the fish underwater. Don't get me wrong though, impressing fish is great and all, but it adds quite a bit of girth around the phone, which is especially noticeable on the 7 Plus. Thankfully, that's only around the edges as I slim down the actual back and front, leaving this ledge around the whole case. And for myself at least, it makes for something to grasp onto during usage. The soft rubber feels really good all around, especially on the bottom where you tend to rest your tiniest finger. More importantly, it really helps to grip onto what is now an even larger iPhone. The smooth rounded edges do make it manageable in pockets, although it may be mistaken for something else due to the added girth. I was quite surprised when I found myself being able to use this for two weeks without even contemplating about taking it off over frustrations of sizing or screen responsiveness issues. Although a gap does exist between the screen and protector, it's unnoticeable during usage and yeah, you got it. That means no more raging and having to swipe, tap, or type harder. It really feels like there's nothing there at all. Almost. Because due to that extra layer of plastic on a bright sunny day, your iPhone screen is basically non-existent thanks to that damn sun. 
But let's not forget why we're here. It may be a great looking, smooth feeling, and thoughtfully designed case. It's a waterproof case in the end, so does it waterproof? Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Typical waterproof cases can go a few meters deep, but this guy can go 33 feet down below. In my test, day to day, washing it in the sink, taking it with me to shower, taking a bath with it, there wasn't any leakage within the phone, and the beauty is, because they designed such a comfortable case, I can just wipe it off and continue my day. It works perfectly fine as a normal day to day case. Which is really the whole anthem of this case, it's allowing you to do what you gotta do without worrying about your iPhone getting messy. That could be like when you gotta take a food porn photo, but your hands are all greasy, but you just have to share it on the gram. Simple, just snap the photo and just wash your phone when you wash your hands. Or if you're that guy that takes a whiz in the washroom and still uses his phone, don't worry if you drop it in the urinal, you can wash away the piss, but the embarrassment stays forever. Yeah, I've done it, you want to do it, and now you can, for whatever kind of video you need to watch while naked in the shower. And I know I'm not the only one that's dropped my iPhone in a bowl of cereal, which required getting a new iPhone and losing out on a hearty breakfast. As a waterproof case, this is the best case I've used to date. But how does it do as a case in general, like in terms of protection? There's a huge lip around the front and back of the case thanks to a thick rubber bumper, which means you're safe throwing this on tabletops, and the thick ass rubber around the case may seem super protective, but there aren't any impact absorbing features otherwise. But combined with the screen protector and the hard shell back though, it will handle common drops just fine, even on uneven ground like I've done here, just don't go playing catch with your iPhone. On a few drops, the backplate did pop off a few times, so keep that in mind when it does happen. Otherwise, I'm pleasantly surprised it could handle all that. The best part is, it's still fully waterproof. Taking a closer look, the rubber and plastic has taken some cosmetic damage. The camera cover is surprisingly scratch-free though, but after all that abuse, the iPhone comes out without a scratch and drier than your laundry. No physical damage to the phone, the screen is working perfectly fine, and so is 3D Touch. I'm now confused if this is a tough case or a waterproof case. I mean, you've got what I consider the best waterproof case to date. 360 degrees of protection, 33 feet deep, and it's actually comfortable to use. If you're looking for a waterproof case, this is it. A huge shout out to Catalyst for sponsoring the case and review. It supports what I do on this channel, but I got complete creative freedom. As you can see, I'm in a bathtub right now and all opinions expressed are from my own brain. That's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and to our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my case.